Hello my lovies! Welcome back to my channel! hello my lovies welcome back to my channel we are back in action um i feel like i haven't talked to you guys in such a long time um i have so much to catch up on but yeah we are definitely gonna be catching up on everything if you are wondering why i am in unicorn attire it was my niece's birthday yesterday well by the time you guys are gonna see this um her birthday party was on saturday so we all had t-shirts the theme was unicorn so we all had t-shirts godmother of the birthday of the unicorn birthday girl with this cute little unicorn headband um so yeah i was like you know what why not we're in october it's around halloween let's just do it for the video too keep it in character um we're grubbing down on mcdonald's today because to be honest with you, I'm tired of oxtails, drip chicken. <laughs> I'm tired of like food, food. Your girl was missing her some Mickey D's. I got a McChicken with cheese and a pickle. Thank me later, just saying. Um, a McDouble, french fries, and then I got a three-piece tender. So let's get it in because your girl is starving. And the background is my are my sisters and of course my niece. Why is there a little gnat in here? Ew. Um, and my niece is a grubbing down, so you may hear her in the background. But yeah, um, her birthday party was a success. Her first birthday party. She's turned one. I will insert a picture here. Um, but yeah. The whole family came around. She was, well, she was really cranky, but because she didn't sleep, she was fighting it. She wanted to be the life of the party. But it was good. And I... I'm finally back in action from Jamaica. If you guys did not check out my mini Jamaica blog slash mukbang, I'm going to put the link in the description down below. Check it out. Jamaica was... um. gorgeous it was gorgeous <laughs> it was a lot of fun it's a very free country and by free I mean like do whatever the hell you want over there People were smoking ganja everywhere you look. You didn't get in trouble for smoking weed up there? Nope. People are so chill. Like, I'm from New York where I'm used to everything being so fast, you know? Like, oh no, we gotta go here, we gotta go here. It's hot, 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 but there, they're like, yeah, ma, we get it done when we get it done. <laughs> like, it's very chill. Very chill. Which is good because, you know, when you... It is good because stress is the number one pillar. When you're traveling and stuff, who wants to be, you know, running around? Oh, I'm drinking Sprite, by the way. 
not drinking liquor. I know it's a red cup, but no, no liquor. Um, what? I did smoke some ganja out there. This is the McChicken. Um, it knocked your girl out. Like, when I mean it hit different, <laughs> it hit different. I thought I was, I thought I was in somebody else's body at one point. It was crazy. I had the best jerk chicken and oxtails of my life out there. If you follow me on IG, you saw my crazy stories. Mmm. I did Dunn's River Falls. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's basically like an all natural rock hill thing. And it has like, with all the rushing water, it made like natural like slides and stuff. Uh, if you're daring, you can climb all the way to the tippy tippy top. Let's just say, I'm glad your girl went back to the gym before doing that because I thought I was going to pass out on those, <laughs> climbing those rocks. And not only that, the freaking water shoes they gave me. We're not good. So, I kept slipping. And at one point, like we were almost at the top. And I put my foot in a bad place and I slipped. And <laughs> I was literally clenching onto the rock like this. And I was like, <laughs> People came around. The guy that was like our tour guide, he came. And he's like, yeah, I was like that. And he's like, don't worry, man. I got you. And he just came and just, whoop, like, threw me out of the water so easily. And I was like, okay, I see you. I see you, Jamaican man, with your strength. And I kept telling them, like, listen, I'm not no skinny bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got some meat on me, you know? So they were like, you nothing, man. You nothing. <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. I was like, tell me. You don't gotta tell me twice. Thank you for the compliment. And they were just like throwing me around like if I was as light as a feather. I was like, okay. But shout out to Jamaica. By far one of the best trips I've ever taken. Everything from the food to the people, the vibes. The resort I stayed in, gorgeous. I did end up getting sick. Um, 
like towards the end of the trip, I had smoked too much hookah. And the hookah, sometimes it doesn't, it makes my throat hurt if I smoke it a lot the next day. And then on top of it, we had the AC on blast in, in our room. And uh, we were hanging out majority of the time when we were in our room. We were on the balcony smoking the hookah, smoking the ganja, drinking, talking-ish. So... I had wet hair, and I kept coming outside, inside, outside, inside. So, with all that, I woke up one day really, really sick. Uh, I had, like, a head cold, you know, stuffy nose, whatever. But, it was good. They were just telling me to smoke more ganja to feel better. But... Y'all have some potent ass ish out there. Y'all got that good, good. Let's just say it. I will go again. The only thing that was annoying was coming back, I got stopped leaving Jamaica. Like when they were when I was boarding the plane to come back home, I, that's what I told them. I know. Um, they stopped me to do it. They said it was a random check. I just so happened to be like the lucky person, so they checked me, which I really could care less because, you know, I know that's their job one and two. I'm not. I don't have anything to hide, so I was like, okay, whatever. Uh, excuse me. And then coming, when we landed uh, in JFK, we landed late. Our flight landed late. We, I think it was like 10, 10.45. Um, by the time we got through customs, it was like 12.30. Yeah. And then... After I passed customs, I thought it was good, you know. I'm getting ready to, like, walk out of the airport. And <sighs> this lady comes up to me. And she was one of the, I guess, the customs police in regular clothing. So she presents her bag, and she's, like, starts asking me questions. Now... Um, at this point, it's 12.30. The last time I had eight was at 1 p.m. before I left the resort. So, I'm hangry. I'm tired. Like, I just want to go home and sleep. Obviously, I still wasn't feeling good at this point. I was still a little sick. And, you know... Like, your girl just wanted to freaking get out of the airport already. I was in the airport for my long. So, I'm, like, giving attitude, and I'm just, like, I was in Jamaica, you know. They start asking you all these questions. She's like, who are you traveling with? They end up pulling. They're like, okay, well, we need you guys to come with us. <laughs> so, me and my friend have to go. They took apart my whole luggage. Leaving Jamaica, I only had my carry-on that they checked. So, I didn't care because my carry-on was just a simple bag and it didn't have much in it. But this late, at this point, I have my luggage leaving JFK already. I already passed customs. I'm, like, about to walk out of the airport when this lady freaking stops me. And I'm, like, livid. Like, I'm annoyed. I'm just annoyed. And when I'm annoyed, I'm not a friendly person. I don't care who you are. So, I'm like, I'm like, what? What happened? She's like, well, we just got to check your luggage. She takes apart my whole freaking luggage. Like, she was like, even going through like my dirty clothes. I'm like, you're going through my dirty clothes? Like, 
she was checking my bras and then she said she was asking me mad questions like how do you know your friend how long do you know them where did you meet what did you do in jamaica did you meet anyone over there um i was like damn i was like you want to ask what what bra size i have on like what else you want to ask me like what the hell And then, to top it off, after she's done destroying my whole luggage, took everything out, everything is on the counter, so everyone is seeing my my bras, my undies, everything that was in my luggage. She's like, okay, you could pack it up while I check your friend's luggage. I said, what? I said, you're not going to, you're not going to, you're not going to repack my luggage the one that you took apart she's like no i said oh <laughs> okay that's what we're doing <clears throat> at that point i just bit my tongue oh no i did make a pablo escobar <laughs> comment <laughs> i was like y'all be checking the wrong people I'm like, because Bahapo Escobar probably passed here two times already. And y'all checking me. When all I got is some dirty panties and a hookah thing in my bag. That's it. <laughs> but then I was like, let me shut up because I'm not trying to be retained. No, I, I just want to get out. You want to give her another time now? Um, but besides that, Jamaica was fun. I would definitely go back. Hands down. Um, I would go back, but... I would go to a different resort. Just because our resort was gorgeous, but I don't like going to the same resort twice when I go back to another to a place because you know. You wanna change up the scenery. You wanna meet new pool entertainers. <laughs> <laughs> And one thing I did love about our resort, which I didn't even know until we got there, it was an adult only resort. So, no kids, which I don't have anything against kids, you know, whatever. Um, but. It was good just because of the simple fact of they didn't bother you when it came to, like, smoking hookah, smoking, like, none of that. They didn't bother you because there's no kids around. Usually, when you're in a resort with kids, the first thing, you get a lot of complaints um, when it comes to smoking and when it comes to making noise in your room. You get a lot of complaints because parents are like, oh, my kid is trying to sleep or, oh, I don't want you smoking around my kid. So... Being that it was an adults-only resort, I loved that about it because nobody's going to freaking bother me because there's no freaking kids around. And, you know, when you're on vacay, uh, you don't want to be, you know, like, not bothered, but you don't want to be, you don't want to stop your fun you know, because of somebody else's kid. Do you know what I'm saying? So. Girl, I got kids. And if I'm going on vacation, I don't want to be around a kid. So, you should fucking... I wouldn't want to be around a kid on vacation. That's what I'm saying. I, like, I don't mind kids I mind. being around. I mind. But... <laughs> I get annoyed when the parent tries to be like, oh, no, you can't do that because my kid's around. So take your kid and go to the kid-friendly section. You know, like, I hate when people do that. Or they, like, bang on the door because, oh, you're being too loud. My kid's trying to sleep. 
Okay, so put some put some ear headphones on them. And let them go to sleep. It's my room. You can't tell me what to do in my room. But I didn't have that problem in this trip, so that was good. People kept telling me to taste the KFC out in Jamaica, which I didn't do. But according to them, they say that it tastes so good. But I felt like, I'm in Jamaica. Why am I going to eat KFC? Like, what the hell? But I, I should have. I kind of regret not doing it. <laughs> like, I wonder, what's the difference? <laughs> I guess we'll find out next trip to Jamaica. <sighs> Alright, loveies. I am up. Don't forget to give this video two big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend to join the fam bam. And until next time, remember, let's spread positive vibes, good laughs, and yummy eats.